Dual trial ready. Okay, let's see if I know how to play good old 2010 Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, we have a choice here now. Do we go first or second? I think with the traps in this format, we go first. Because we still get the extra draw. That is one squeaky microphone. I really need to put some WD-40 on that. Ooh. What a pretty, pretty mat. Okay. No sleeves. They're using a loader deck as well, it seems. Okay, the Gub top deck. Do we just go Trooper for advantage? No, I think we do... I think a Humble T. A, hum a Humble T is in order. Yeah, this is po- Now, the big thing, these are post-erratas, which is going to be interesting to notice how they affect things. So, it'll be the search off the sand again here. Probably like a Raikou. Raikou's a pretty good search. Oh, God, you are not at all on, uh, on a loner deck. This deck is really good, actually. The Indy card effect would move a card in the graveyard to a different place. That's really bad against our deck. Oh, no, 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 no! That was a really good hand, actually. So we, even, we could have even used this to banish the Necro Valley, and now it's gone. It's okay, we have MST in hand. Deck Lockdown? Oh, what is this horrible Floodgate deck you're playing? What is this trash? Okay. Um, ironically, I still don't think we're in that bad of a spot. So what can we do? So we, we have to worry about the lockdown. We can MST the Necro Valley, activate the Monster Reborn, Reborn to get back. We have to get a Tuner, discard Level Leader, and then we get the Dandelion Tokens to wall up on. Uh, but we'd have to summon back a 3 for that. We shouldn't have a 3. I think we go Sangan, Dandy, that, make a 7. Um, we can make a 5. Probably just go for that. Okay. Oh, wait. We have to MST first. That was almost really bad. Okay. You MST the Necro Valley. Okay. Gub. My eye is acting up. Ooh, Lone Flyer pitch, okay. I mean, I guess we can just make Stardust Dragon too. I didn't think about that. Stardust Dragon's not bad. Nah, Catastra's just like insurance. We just make Cataster. Oh, we don't have a line to make. Yeah, we do. We have a line to make Cataster. Okay, yeah. Oh, I forgot they, we have their graveyard to work with, too. But now we want that Sangan search. Gravity Bind. That's interesting. This is just Floodgate Turbo in every way. That's fine. Sangan's a big guy. It's level 4 or higher monsters can attack. We can just make... Well, now we need something that's like a wall, because we can't get over this spy. So we have a 4 on board, we can go for a 5 or a 7. The only 7 we can make is Black Rose. I think it's too early to make the Black Rose. I think we go the level eater. We can also just set the eater and wall up. I don't hate that, actually. Because, like, well, we make a Tasser. His deck's all dark anyway. It's Necro Valley. He's under Gravity Bind 2 as well, so, like... We just buy this off a turn. If only Kaius was... Oh, what the frig? Lava Golem. Lava Golem. You gonna hit me with the lava? Okay, now I'm gonna Black Rose you. Ooh, good draw. Really good draw, actually. Oh, wow. Actually, we have an insane play. Oh, the MST. Oh, that's an awkward one. Um, Is there any value to be gotten off 
using this here. There is actually. We can call the haunted uh, card trooper. And we get a draw out of it, I believe. I believe if I'm remembering this correctly. Because Cole, Cole will destroy Card Troop, and then Card Troop will get us a draw. Unless it's a when. It's not a when, is it? Nah, cool. Sick. Sick play. Okay, what's in Grave to activate? Eater. Oh, we get Eater off the Lava Golem. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, we're going to have to tune. We can't tune in with Deck Lockdown. Okay, then we're just going to have to stall. Ironically, I still think we're in a pretty good position here. Um, actually, we can level one tuner next turn. Get, yeah, we can search for like a level one tuner. We can make a Stardust Dragon using the Lava Golem. Oh, well, now we can't. <laughs> Torrents. Well, now they actually can't, we can't even Black Rose now. This is miserable. People are bringing this to Edison? Oh, we literally drew our level 1 tuner as well. Is it Need to play a special summon monsters except water monsters. Uh, well, we can make Trish, actually. Yeah, lol. Don't care. Meet my boy. Now it's... I don't think Trish will trigger because there's no card in hand. Oh, no, it does. Banish card from the field. Of course. Now, do we banish the... This? We ba Well, yeah, we banish the gravity bind because we can just attack over this one. I banish from the grave. Um... Oh, my God. They have Ra in grave. What the fuck? What could be, like... We get rid of Ra, actually, so that way they can't, like, reborn it. And then pay all their life points. Okay, tuning. Okay. Yeah! That's what you get, Floodgate player! Trishula! Trishula! Ooh, this hand is good. Am I going first or second? They made me go first with this hand. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, well, I think the Raikou is the best set. We love a good... Um... Man, Limit Reverse is so valuable. I want to hold that, actually. Do we just sit on the Raikou? Nah, we use the Mirror Force Insurance. Humble Tea, my favorite play in Edison. Okay, what are you going to put up? Another deck with no sleeves. The Gamma Boy is electricing. Sidra, good, good opener going second, gotta say. Sidra into Stratos, okay. Yes, yeah, so we're searching a hero here. What are we searching? Neos Alias, I imagine. Yep, the boy. Ironically, I should be playing hero. I get to actually flex my bloody royal rare copy of Neos Alias during this event. Uh, but I just don't have any of the other cards. Setting a back row and main one? Eek. Setting two back row and main one. What are we, a dual links player? Battle. Um, ironically, I think Mirror Force is very valuable here, and we could just save the Riker for our own turn to pop one of the back row. And then we could tribute the Riker for Caius and get the other back row. Yeah, that's too much value to not do. Turn change. Draw phase. Oh, and then the tuning as well. It's just too good. Okay, let's start with the flip sum of the Riker. People always set their best card in the middle. This would be a bottomless. A D prison. What did we hit? Oh, Gub, Trag. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. 
Uh, now we do Caius. Actually, do we tuning first? Yeah, tuning first. Get the quick draw. So we can now set up, uh, wait, does this deck play Drunk Warrior? It doesn't, does it? Now we do, okay, we have a Junk Warrior to come down as well. Do we Junk, now we Caius first. Caius! Caius Mandatory Effect, banish the back row. Oh, it's triggerable. Ah, the other one was the bottom list. We knew one of them was. Hello, Bimochi. My, hello, I assume fellow duelist. Okay, uh, that's fine. We can gub here. Um, is there a value to gubbing? I guess we can armory arm. Oh, wait, why can't I level leader? Oh, I'm dumb. I never sent level leader. Oh, well, that's awkward. I can't read. I'm thinking of the last game. Uh, time rule let go. Okay, well then, yeah, the Caius play was actually pretty bad. Uh, but we didn't really have another play there then. Nah, that was still the best play. We just, we lost the 50-50. If we hit the, the bottomless and then the Deepras. Okay, there's the alias they added. We hold this limit reverse. Unless they target it now. In which case, it doesn't really matter. Imagine they target back row. Yeah, there's no shot you don't target back row. Um, is there any target here that does anything? Uh, no, there isn't. Hmm, okay, now I'm thinking we should have set the snowman eater. Oh, okay, maybe not. I don't... Well, they normal. Just, yeah, they don't really have anything, so this doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the gub. The limit reverse was unfortunate. Oh, that's too good. Yeah, this gets us to Dandelion. Yeah, okay. That's exactly what we needed. Lone Flyer. Lone Fire effect. Tribute itself. Gets us into Dandelion. We can make a formula here. Yeah, so we make Junk Destroyer. We can pop the back row. Junk Destroyer! Dandelion Trigger. Junk Destroyer Trigger. Seven tools, okay. So that was a bluff. Bluff token. Bluff token. Um, now we could make... We can gub here and make ourselves a... Formula... Or we just wait for next turn, Gub. If there's one token still left with Sermonita, we make a Cataster, which seems better. Because uh, I can't think anything the formula draw would really get us. And then we don't have another line to go into, another Synchro from there. So we just hit for a nice 28 here. Or 26. What a card, Junk Destroyer. Look at him. Look at him with his four arms. I always thought he had really big feet. Not in a weird way, just, like, look at them legs. Oh, duality, okay, so no special summoning this turn. This is a weird little deck. Well, I just saw Skyscraper, so it's gotten even weirder. Yeah, you pick up the bottomless here. Now, if they set one, then, like, it's obvious. So they're gonna have to set multiple here to make it not obvious. Okay, you know, say alias. Into a fluff token, just as thought. So how can we play around Bottomless? Bottomless is 15. Ironically, Formula might actually be not bad here. What's the top deck? Tuning. Very good, actually. Uh, we can make Drill. Eat the Bottomless. Okay. Yeah, do we eat the Bottomless then? That's an option available now. Uses the last two cards in our hand. Uh, we could also mill a level leader, so yeah, tuning. The mill is... Sand game, okay. Fortunately doesn't trigger. 
Okay, yeah, I think we make formula hit now. Torrential. Yeah, because Armory Arm gets bottomless. And then we're kind of in the water anyway. I'm just pressing buttons, basically. Limit reverse, good draw. Okay, I've got... Yeah, I see a, a pretty, pretty decent line now. So we'll battle, we'll get Junk Destroyer in. And then we'll set the Snowman Eater. If they attack into it, um, we can then make a Taster using these two. And then if they don't, uh, we can flip the Limit Reverse and make a different Synchro. Do we have a way to make Stardust? No, we don't. There's a lot of targets, but they're all threes and twos off the Limit Reverse. Oh, another back row pass. Okay. Then we draw the spore. That's actually really good. Because we have the, uh, the Lone Fire Engrave and the Dandelion, so we can make spore a four. We might just have to bait out the bottomless here with normaling spore and then limit reverse. Make armory arm. Using Sangan, get the search. I like that. We'll limit reverse first in case the back row is like MST. Sangan. Yeah, definitely Sangan. Ah, oh, they're calling their own card, okay. What is your call target? They don't really have a good call target, it's just, yeah, Neos. I guess they can straight Ice, get a search. Is that what they picked? Yeah. Straight Ice for a search. I get Sangan. Oh, they're out of targets. Well, that's good to know. Okay, normal spore. Make armory arm. Trigger Sangyan. What a nice little guy. What a, what a just a fun little guy. Yeah, you have to bottomless here. You've realized very much I have lethal if you don't. Yep, that is fine. That was the bait. Oh, and now I can search level eater and... Oh, yeah, you're done. Oh, wait, 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 oh, I did the wrong thing. It's fine, it's fine. This turn it anyway. Why was the level leader an option there? He floating away. I wish Gamma had like an animation when the battle begins. He just kind of stands there menacingly. Ooh, um, not a great going first hand. Oh, okay. Well, we've got a lot of tuners, and we have the chance to add more tuners, which we will do for deck thinning. Mill. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, well, now we've got some options. Um, we can make a formula... And then set Snowman Eater, and then we have the chance to make Catastor. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, wait, no, because we have to use the normal for the bulb. Blah, what am I saying? We would make Formula, then. Maybe we just sit on the tokens. 
I don't really want to discard any of these. Spore's the only easy discard for quick draw. And then we make, like... Drill Warrior. Uses effect discard one. Discarding what? Like, Gub? Drill Warrior's too early to make. No, I think I just want to make a fort. I think a good slow-paced three monster board on turn one's not bad. And the next turn I can play the game. Plus, uh, this is also a debris dragon target as well, which is really nice. So actually, if any one of the tokens win, we just summon debris, summon back dandelion. Dandelion plus a token plus debris makes stardust. Then we can do quick draw and then make drill warrior as well. Then add debris back. That's really good, actually. Anyway, Dragoonides. This is the second one. Ooh, Glads. Not Glads. Assaults. Okay, what are we doing here? Ducks Tribute. Sarmon Armor Mistilicien. I know I did not pronounce that correctly. Oh, why didn't we equip a Dragoonity? Oh, Dragon Dragoonity. It's a Wing Beast. Right. Okay, went for the token. Well, we can flip the Snowman Eater and pop the, the monster. There's also no point doing that. Oh, what a top deck! We actually saved the Caius. I think it's better to make that synchro board I was just talking about. Especially because we don't know what the back rows are. Okay, normal debris. Debris effect. Target dandelion. Summon dandelion. And this outplays bottomless too. Debris. Dandelion. Fluff token. Stardust Dragon! Dandelion Trigger. Fluff Token. Fluff Token. Uh, well, from now, actually, maybe we do... Do people not know that Edison's slow enough paced you have a comeback chance? There's three opponents that have surrendered well before I honestly probably had lethal. That's all three games now. Nah, we're doing more. We're doing more. We're not stopping there. What time is it? Yeah. Oh, they give me the pack straight away. This is going to give me nothing. I know my luck with this game. I'm getting nothing in this free pack. Look. How about that? Not even a hollow. We keep playing. Let's do two more duels, I'm thinking. Look at that time down there. It's the book. He's got the book. Okay, he gets the die roll this time. We're two for two. Man, they really want that battle phase. I don't know why, but they really want it. This is actually pretty good in first hand too. Oh boy, okay. Okay, uh, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh play of all time it is undeniably the best play to do of all time. What do you got, Reyna? Little Karibo bronze avatar. Nothing against my Luber the Boober of the Duber and the magical cylindary of the... I can't think of anything to rhyme with cylindary. I don't know why I said it like that. Why are you setting a card at the first action of main phase one? Correction, setting a back row. Setting a card is fine. Um, yeah, we MST this. It's free value. You were so eager to set this. Bottomless. Raigeki break. Okay. Interesting. Quick draw. I think we keep wall. Well, I, th I think we Raiko first. Pop the monster. And see what we hit off the mills. A dandelion. Okay, that changes our line a little. Fluff token, fluff token. What were the other hits? Avarice, Raigeki break. Okay. Um... Well, so we have three, we have four on board now, so we could do Gub here, actually, make Catasto. I kind of like that more than anything. Yeah, let's, let's make Catasto. We'll do Gub. Oh, actually, we can make Formula into Catasto, and we get a free draw. That's really good. Let's do that. Look at us generating advantage in not Edison Edison, because formula should not be in this format. 
But that's why that guy was playing Necro Valley, because you got, like, Recruit and everything. Ooh, good draw. Okay. Uh, Cataster. Oh, Cataster has an animation? That's sick. Okay, and pass. I'm okay with that. You gotta have some smashing grounds for me. We have the Govan Grave with the Sangan. We could make an Armory Arm. Put the Armory Arm on the Cataster. I don't mind that. Wait, Shallow Grave? I'm picking Dandelion. Or I could pick Raikou. I think Raikou is actually really much better here. Yeah, give me my Raikou back. I'm sorry, Flame Ruler? Yeah, I'll take another free pop for Mill 3. Okay, okay. It also makes Caius live now too. We just win next turn. Oh, double tribute. What are you summoning? Hino Kagatsushi. Well, you need a recataster, bro. He was so proud of that move, too. You know he was beaming. He was popping off. He was so ready. Oh, wow. I was expecting the surrender. Does he not think I can do lethal? Oh, and then you just set a card when you know I have Raikou set. Why would you do that? Okay, let's just let's just put you out of your misery. Flip Raikou. Destroy a card, yes. Pop the back row. Hit another dandelion. It's just that easy. Token. Token. Glow up bulb effect. One, two, two. Armory um, arm. Um, Cataster. Debris. Debris effect. Um, this is not once per turn. <laughs> Dandelion. Four, three, one. God, I love this format. I love this era of Yu-Gi-Oh! Stardust! Dandelion trigger. Fluff token. Fluff token. Oh, guess what? We're still not done. Discard quick draw. Summon quick draw. Five. One. Drill Warrior. Battle phase. And that's lethal, actually. It's 100 over lethal. I love this deck. I actually think this deck's way more fun playing in this than it actually kind of is in real life. Um, because just the fart... In real life, the annoying slowness of, like, get your tokens, put it away, move cards. This problem with combo decks, when you're on a simulator, though, the ability to just, like, token, token, and synchro, and token, token, and synchro again, and, oh, look at synchro, and add the discard for, uh, quick draw, and quick draw, and quick draw, and then, blah, 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 blah. it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. Okay, we win the last die roll. We're going first. It's a little boy gamma versus the blue eyes chaos max dragon. Neither card would make an appearance in this duel, but we expect a good, fair game from both players. Ah, oh, what a going first hand. 
draw. Ooh, that's even better. Dun, dun. Okay, once again, we fire off the tuning. Another card that's also not an Edison, but we get in this format because of the error it's in. This is Storm or Ragnarok. Uh, okay, saying it's not great to see there. Um, and now we do... Stop me if you've heard this one before. Do do T. Uh, nah, we go for. We're going for the the A set. The A set. Five hundred or less attack. Okay, so we can't target Sangan. Can target the Snowman Eater and make a Black Rose though. Oh, we also make we can make Gungnir off that. Tie this card up to two cards to the graveyard and tie it center. Okay, finish one. I'm sorry, Horus the Black Flame Dragon. Okay. Sure. Ooh. He's not gonna like this. Mandatory trigger. I'll destroy your little Hori. Wow. You're gonna trag for 300. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's it's 1,200 attack, I guess. You trying to take my snowman eater? Don't know where they're going with this. Annoyingly, I actually don't have a way to out this trag. Uh, but we do have the Torrential set, so we have plenty of time on our side. Um, that gets us into a Junk Destroyer with that amount of back row for that amount of resources. Uh, I'm good, fam. Pass back to you. This Snowman Eater is happy chillin'. There's also no Heavy Storm in this format as well, so back row is just so powerful. What did you just normal? The character attack of this conflict's bad damage your opponent by direct to gain 1,000 attack. Sure, buddy. So you're just gonna attack with this directly every turn to buff it up? Sure. I actually think I remember this card from Playground Yu Gi Oh! It looks really familiar. Put the track to defense. I mean, I'm attacking this, if anything. Okay, what's the next draw? I'm hoping for another monster movie to discard for the quick draw. That is the best monster to discard for the quick draw. Okay, let's read this. Can this target back row? It can. Uh, but I still don't think we want to do it. Yeah, pitch level leader. Summon quick draw. Black Horn of Heaven. Not what I was expecting at all. Um, okay. I gotta think. Oh, we can make Stardust here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Debris. Huh? It's 600. I can't read. Okay, then we're gonna make, um, Gungnir with no effect. Wait, hold on, how many monsters in Grave? One, two, three. Oh, no, we make Gungnir, uh, and then we can Avarice. We still make Gungnir for no effect, though. Yeah, I'm not scared of this back row. Watch it be a bottomless. Oh, it's a compulse. Unfortunately, priority doesn't exist. I mean, I wouldn't have declared it anyway. Uh, we could torrential here, but I think we just hold the torrential for their turn because they're putting it back in ours. Okay, but now avarice is live, so I'll take my plus two. Thanks. And we have to do this here because unfortunately, like we're just bricked up on nothing. Even though we're putting the level leader back, which I don't really like to do. Um, 
Okay, let's keep playing, actually. We can fully keep playing with this hand now. Oh, and then we hit the gub. Even better. Okay. Okay, discard dandelion. Summon quick draw. We'll get our fluff tokens. Okay, so we can make a seven or we can make a six. We're gonna want to make drill. And I think we gub here. Hit a Raikou. Really nice. Off these, we can make formula. Just synchro, man. Just synchro power. Drawing a lone fire for next turn. Okay. So we'll go to battle. Go drill over the sprite. Go main two. I think we... Do we pitch this quick draw for the Drill Warrior effect to get the Raikou back? I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good decision. We have the Lone Fire, though. But the quick draw doesn't really do anything in our hand. And it gets him off the field for Torrential. So, yeah, we do. Yeah, so we're going to banish the Raikou. By discarding quick draw. We'll see you next turn, bro. We, we made formula for the draw, let's be honest here. It's just advantage generation. Yeah, so what are we going to pick up? If we pick up, a, like, an easy discard of a monster, we get quick draw back. If we don't, we pick up instead uh, Raikou. And then we can set the Raikou. They summon anything, we Torrential. Hey, look. Oh, and that's definitely something I want to Torrential. And we should be able to make lethal next board, hopefully. Turn change. Draw phase. Another Lone Fire. Okay. Maybe we do get the Quick Draw here, then. Okay, we get Drill Warrior back. And what are we adding to our hand? Um, no, I do think we still just get Raikou. Bit Telegraph, but I think we just play the slow game here. You have a response. Okay, that's interesting. Battle. Drill Warrior in. Main two. Now, do we want to have Drill Dodge again? Turns off Regeki Break. Uh, but I think that's probably still for the best. Yeah, and then we just Raikou set. Yeah, I like this idea. This is what he exists for. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. We'll set you. There we go. We still have Regeki Bay if we want to, if we do want to discard the Lone Fire. At the moment, though, are we are we do have Spore in deck. We could get out of it. Silent Magician. Okay. You're just gonna attack into the very obviously Telegraph Raiko. No, they're not. They're just gonna sit here and wait for me to obviously. To pop it with the obviously telegraphed Raiko. Unless they've got a Veiler in hand. Debris a great draw here. I 
Uh, and we'll add the hand. Get quick draw this time. Okay, let's start. Flip Raiko. Raiko effect. Yes. Pop the Silo Magician. Mill some cards. Normal debris. Debris effect. We're going to make Iron Chain here, so what we pick up here doesn't really matter. I guess if we pick up Raiko, we can make Stardust. That's better. Let's make Stardust. Not that it matters, we have lethal. I just like Stardust more. Stardust! Okay, and go to battle. Drill Warrior. Stardust Dragon! You can't! I don't know why I do the anime stuff. I, I think it's the anime cards. It just brings back the, the inner 12-year-old in me.